For 100 years, the UFIFIS Citrus Research and Education Center in Lake Alfred has focused on discovering and delivering innovative solutions to empower the citrus industry. Founded in 1917 with help from a group of citrus growers and the $14,000 they raised to purchase land, the center opened its doors with just a few scientists. Today, it employs 250 people in a variety of research and education areas, including economics, food science, and plant pathology. The CREC fosters scientific excellence and works to help growers use resources in efficient ways. The goal is to keep the Florida citrus industry profitable. To achieve this goal, UFIFIS scientists work in a variety of areas to meet the ever-changing needs of this more than $8 billion a year industry. Over the last 100 years, the center has made significant discoveries in every decade to address the challenges facing the industry at the time. Let's look at a few. In the 1930s, UFIFIS scientists focused on understanding the nutrient needs of citrus trees and identified micronutrients that are critical to citrus tree survival and fruit production. In the 1940s, UFIFIS researchers worked to increase yields to meet the demands brought on by World War II and the development of frozen concentrated orange juice. In the 50s, researchers developed fertilizer recommendations and laid the groundwork for what would become known as best management practices, or BMPs, to reduce inputs and maximize yields. The 1960s saw UFIFIS research defeat an epidemic of the dreaded spreading decline disease by developing citrus rootstocks resistant to the nematode that was found to cause this condition. As citrus acreage reached new heights in the 70s and 80s, UFIFIS research focused on increasing production and efficiency. Scientists also discovered that the micro-irrigation systems used to conserve water could also be used to protect citrus trees from freezing temperatures. During the 1990s, research turned back to nutrients and scientists began working to develop BMPs as the industry saw a need to maximize nutrient uptake or reducing the use of water in fertilizer. But it was in the 2000s that the Florida citrus industry began battling its biggest threat, and it's a fight that continues today. In 2005, citrus greening disease turned up in South Florida groves and quickly spread across the state. Today, it affects more than 90% of Florida citrus groves. This deadly disease is caused by a bacterium that decreases yields and kills trees. The disease has cost the industry billions of dollars in lost revenue. But now, UFIFIS researchers are making progress in the fight to control this deadly disease. Using cutting-edge technology and state-of-the-art techniques, UFIFIS researchers are studying the pathogen from all sides and finding new ways to stop the spread of citrus greening. Entomologists are studying the insect responsible for spreading citrus greening. The Asian citrus psyllid carries the diseased pathogen and spreads it by feeding on the leaves of uninfected citrus trees. Scientists want to know how far these tiny insects can fly and how coordinated chemical spraying could reduce their populations. They're also trying to suppress the disease inside the insect to prevent these bugs from infecting new trees when they feed. UFIFIS citrus pathologists are also working to identify proteins that make citrus trees susceptible to the citrus greening pathogen. Researchers say these proteins from citrus and the greening pathogen work like a lock and key that can allow the greening pathogen to cause symptoms to the tree. Now researchers are changing the locks on the greening by using a new gene editing technology called CRISPR that allows them to remove and grow the tree without those proteins. Researchers are still in the early stages of studying these proteins, but the goal is to produce a citrus tree with a resistance to greening that could be a part of the long-term solution to this disease. As part of a shorter-term solution, UFIFIS citrus breeders are developing new citrus varieties with improved tolerance to greening. 
Modern citrus trees are made from two different citrus varieties that are grafted together into a single tree. Researchers theorize that the bottom section of the tree, called the rootstock, could be more susceptible to greening. So they're focused on developing new greening resistant and tolerant rootstocks that can offer grafted trees some additional protection from the bottom up. The idea is to combine these new rootstock varieties with new cyan varieties bred for improved yields and flavor. U of IFAS plant breeders have been developing these new cyan varieties for years, and they recently released the first variety for commercial production called Sugar Bell. Researchers are also working on a new tangerine variety to compete with the popular seedless varieties grown in California. After 100 years, the UFIFAS Citrus Research and Education Center remains at the center of the citrus industry. Researchers and breeders continue to develop the science and technology needed by the industry to stay profitable. Times may change, challenges may change, but the goal of the CREC remains the same, to ensure the future of the Florida citrus industry and to keep it growing strong for the next 100 years.